This college football conference championship edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by MyBookie.ag. Right now, to honor football, MyBookie is offering up to $1,000 in free bets using the promo code SGP. That's right, up to $1,000 in bonus bets on your first deposit when you use the promo code SGP. Play, win, and get paid at MyBookie.ag. We're also brought to you by Ace Per Head. Ace is the leader in paperhead providers, and they make it super easy to start your own sportsbook. Plus, Ace is offering up to six weeks free over at aceperhead.com slash SGP. That's aceperhead.com slash SGP. We're also brought to you by ExpressVPN. Looking to protect your online activity? Hide your location to avoid local blackouts? Check out ExpressVPN, where you can get three months free at expressvpn.com slash SGP. That's expressvpn.com slash SGP. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening? Soy boy. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. How, feeling how, you, how are you feeling, uh, Colby? Yes. After that that tour date in Charlottesville for the Kramer Fuck My Life tour. Wow, uh, I should, we should on brand. Should've so st- on brand. Should have stuck to my guns from the beginning, beginning of the year. There. How's the Fuck My Life tour going, though? Huh? We saw it coming a mile away. The Kramer Fuck My Life tour. I was the only one smart enough to pick UVA. One of the few games I got uh, correct. A disaster. Oh man! Week uh, for the podcast. <laughs> a, a clean sweep. We didn't get one lock, dog tease, <laughs> or bonus lock after a. I mean, that was really bad. Every everything that could have happened. Fucking wrong hot, happened. hot garbage. I, I, I went five and I mean five and seven. It's not hard. <laughs> you guys were, were I was, horrible. Dude, I was three and nine. Colby, you guys one and eleven. Sprinkled fairy dust on me though. Like I knew not to take Alabama at Auburn. What? You who, guys sprinkled fairy who dust. Were you on blaming? Me? I took I'm Auburn. You. I took Auburn. <laughs> I'm blaming Sean then. Yeah, I took Alabama. I didn't think <laughs> Alabama was gonna let up. I they, mean, what does two and not uh, being there have to do with that? Well, they can't win on the road. By the way, they, that's why they play like two road games a year. Did you? Do you guys see Mike Leach go off on that report? That was great. Yes. After being in that room and knowing how small that room is, <laughs> I, watching that video was pretty awesome because he just got he. You're a tr- you're a fucking troll, bro. I love yeah. that, dude. Oh, that was great. That was great. Lots of shits happened, man. Do you see there was a uh, a fake Twitter feed that said he took the Ole Miss job? Yeah. That freaked people that out did, for a second. That, that did, was pretty yeah. good. And then Chris Peterson oh retired. God. It's weird. Like that Tim, was shocking. Tim Tebow not involved at all. Uh, he's not heartbroken. Yeah. He's just tired of coaching. Tim T- uh, Tim Tebow? He's no, like, I'm just saying. Like, okay. That's the Urban yeah, Meyer yeah. excuse. Like, oh, my heart hurts. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's not safe for me to coach anymore. <laughs> my uh, highlight of the college football week was, I think someone tagged us in it on Twitter, but... They did a shot of the crowd at the Utah game, and there's a kid just holding up a ba- like a nice size bag of Coke, <laughs> just shaking Dude, it. That, that we put that on the Instagram. Yeah, check it I, out on Sports Gambling Podcast on Instagram. I thought you were gonna go with the uh, the girl jumping into the uh, the, the bush. Sh- oh, the moms. <laughs> Dude. Dude, no, not one the of them moms. disappears. One of them no, disappears yeah, deep Re- in those bushes. I think uh, Re- Rex uh, Rex Chapman tweeted it out, but it, she jumps in and she just disappears. And the and the oh the, yeah, and then the, the other feed, one goes the after. national feed, like the. It, it's like zoomed in on this as it's going out to commercial break and you just she's she's like drowning in a sea of uh a sea of, of bush i guess right like mm. when, hedge well, well, hedge like, they would call it but between the hedges well I'm like sorry. two or three of the girls i thought jumped through it fine and there was one that just got which I think by there the way, were, there were t- it, solid yeah. two ones that got. <laughs> Everyone got has in jumped there. into a hedge like that when you're drunk, <laughs> and it doesn't feel good. You Wait, wake you up, think these chicks were drunk? You wake up scratched <laughs> up, like they're gonna have serious damage in their undercarriage parts. You know what I mean? Like they're, you, you they're, know, gonna, they're gonna go to carriage parts. Well, they're gonna go. To, <laughs> they're gonna go to campus safety and report an incident. They, they were in the you know they were in a mid-sized <laughs> automobile class. This isn't. We're not talking about a, like a Mazda Miata here. <laughs> Colby. So we're gonna, Coopers. we're gonna call it an undercarriage. Absolutely. Yeah. Dude, the one that really broke my heart because I went heavy gambling wise was the uh Minnesota game. The yeah. Gophers. Yeah, you, know, you know what they weren't doing? They weren't rowing any boats. Dude, they had their chances. Their the weather hurt them more than it did Wisconsin. Because mm. they have skill positions 
or yeah. skilled players at the wide the, at the skill positions, wide receivers. They had a couple deep balls that were they were wide the fuck open, and, oh. how, and the ball got caught up in the air. How does how does Colorado <sighs> lose? They're getting twenty nine points and they lose by exactly thirty. How the Dude, hell does that and work? And they're out? up and they're up like at. at Going into the second quarter, I think they're up seven Utah, nothing. Utah, yeah. most under, uh, underrated team in all the land. I'm in the battles. I'm in Twitter battles right now with idiots all across about the what? planet. What are they are? What are they coming oh, at man, you? They're about? coming at me. Georgia deserves to be number four. And I'm like, Tom they have the Brady's worst better loss than John L. And the t- yeah, that too. You know what I mean? Like they're just still coming at me. Wait, they're so coming at me on all angles. In your opinion, who is the who is the database number four? And of course, if you had subscribed, yes, that's what I argue. I go, it, guys, I do a podcast about this every week. I should go subscribe to the sports or to the college experience on the Sports Gambling Podcast Network, where I'm sure you already disclosed this. But who is your Number four. Give me four, five, six. Uh, Utah. Utah four. Yes. No, no complaints there. Uh, five currently Oklahoma. Six currently Baylor. Georgia oh, interesting. seven. Interesting. Georgia's even further back because that's the worst loss in the entire top twenty-five. When you, when you lose at home to a third-string quarterback, and that team only has four or five wins. I I, I can't recall at the moment if it's the four Cox? or five. Yeah. When they've lost two North Carolina. When they've lost two Appalachian State. When they've lost to pretty much every. Decent team they've played. I can't value that, especially when you lose in Athens. Like Utah lost to an eight-win USC team that schedules ridiculously hard. If, yeah. if 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 USC scheduled like a Georgia did, or like a Tennessee did, or like a Florida did with three bye weeks and two FCSs, yeah. they'd probably be ten and two right now. Wow, that's my point. Wow. Okay. Get over to the college experience. Subscribe. Okay. We're knocking down walls over there. So Sean's got to say about that. Hey, you know who's helping make that podcast happen? And this podcast, the good folks over at mybookie.ag, the presenting sponsor of the Sports Gambling Podcast, Sports Gambling Podcast Network, sportsgamblingpodcast.com, all the great content there. Colby's daily college basketball picks with Patty C, NC Nick, college football picks, the sheet, the spreadsheet, always there. And you know who's always there for you when you're looking to lay down your bets. MyBookie.ag. Easy deposit and the draws using that sweet, sweet cryptocurrency. Get the uh, player prop generator. Come up with any sort of crazy props you want. Oh, it's just all good times over at MyBookie.ag. Again, new come up, new customers. Get this. They're going to match your deposits. All the way up to one thousand dollars. Again, you can get up to one thousand dollars in bonus bets. All you got to do is play, win, and get paid over at mybookie.ag. And of course, use that promo code SGP. Sean, yes, hilarious outcome. I don't know if you saw the props column. If you had, if you had headed over to mybookie.ag, not only would you have had a no sweat, a double no sweat winner on Dalvin Cook under receiving yards and mm. receptions because he had zero. You would have had a no sweat loser with Tyler Lockett over receptions and receiving yards, <laughs> also zero. How I managed to pinpoint the two guys that would have <laughs> zero at both. Anyway, uh, real quick before we get started, Sean, I, I, I saw a review uh, popped in, popped in the old sure. feed. Uh, I, I got to be honest. I'm not. I'm not digging this new podcast app. It, 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 they're not showing anyway. A new college bowl podcast recommendation. This is interesting. He's pro- providing feedback for mm. the review system, but he did it at the cost of five stars. So we like that. Namus two three nine three. Can you guys make a dedicated podcast this year breaking down each bowl's player swag bag? <laughs> I think we as the fans deserve this. And there should be a college playoff bracket to find the best one. Thank need, you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. Need to know <laughs> what sweet, sweet merch these kids are get are yeah. getting rewarded with for skipping those very important final exams. You mean besides tons of cold hard cash? Ah, they don't pay them yet, right? No, of course, no, of course, they would not. never. They're student no. athletes. There's Speaking no, of student athletes, no place in the game. For Let's that. get to it. Let's talk conference championships. Oregon, Utah, Pac-12 Conference Championship in beautiful Santa Clara, California. This is a uh, December 6th kickoff, which Friday. is Friday. Friday. 
Friday kick, Utah six and a half point favorite, of course, on the neutral field there in Santa Clara. Minus two forty five in the money line. The Ducks coming the other way, plus one ninety five. Total sitting at forty six and a half. Colby, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm taking the Ducks. I'm taking the Ducks in the six and a half all day. Um, I just think, I mean, come on, Utah's the type of team when they're not playing in Salt Lake City. I know there's a couple examples of them blowing out teams. However, not of the magnitude of Oregon. Um, I just think Oregon's ready for this one. I think Utah might get the win, but don't give me, don't give me the six and a half. That like three three point win by by the Utes. I'm not gonna be able to watch the game because I'm doing stand up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Mm. If you're in oh, the area, wow. please come out. Just crowbar and <laughs> a plug in there. Tout tout. Puddler's tout. Hall, 8 p.m. Come on. Puddler. You're still welcome to hop on this train, buddy. All right. You want to go to you want to go to Milwaukee? Uh, I will no. be happily not there. <laughs> I mean, I would some other time. You don't want to go, buddy? You know, a lot of ins, a lot of outs. Got some things going on this weekend. Big, uh, big soccer playoff game uh, with the oh, youth, the youth soccer. As far as this football game, I, you know, I was going down this list and I'm like, I think, I think there's a very real possibility. Me and Colby disagree on every game in mm. Championship Week. <laughs> Because Based on last week, then you're looking great. As I mentioned <laughs> earlier, Utah is the most underrated team in all of the land. They have a legit defense. Legit Even, defense. But did you watch the game last week? Just look at – and I'm going to steal this. I, 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 I uh, you know, I normally cite my, my sources so well, but I, I, I have no idea which tout I'm stealing this from. But – Utah has held, I believe it's four of the last four of their last six games. They've held the team they played to, to a season low in yardage. That's impressive. No, their defense is legit. Legit. I, I'm more so worried about like the Colorado game. Uh, they was, won by 30. The Colorado I understand game. that, but still, I mean, that was at home. Like to me, when they hit the road, I have, they struggle passing the ball on the road, right? They, sh okay. they struggle passing yeah, but is the this ball. A, is this a true road game? I think it'll probably be split well, as far as the turnout. I'm just saying it's not Salt Lake City. You know what I mean? Like yeah, Salt Lake City, they don't have the elevation. They don't. They've have the home been field great advantage. in Salt Lake City for like a decade. You know what they do have in Santa Clara though? Better Coke dealers. Exactly. There we go. And Tons of access to sweet, sweet cocaine. To me, they uh, them destroying the Buffs, destroyed Arizona, destroyed UCLA. They're just, I mean, none of those teams are good, but they're beating <laughs> them by wide margins. But uh, uh, here's where the great teams take care of business when business needs to be taken care of. Exactly. Study the film on Utah. The weakness of Utah is oh, throwing the ball in the offensive line. Oregon matches up well against that. Here, here's the thing, though. I think, I think on the on the flip side, Utah will neutralize Oregon's offensive line, and I think on the d defensive side of the ball, I, I, I certainly would lean under here. I'm not a totals guy, Sean, but my power rankings has this more mm. of a 44 point total uh, because this defense is so good. <laughs> anyway, a lot of time to talk about the Pac-12, who doesn't even deserve to have a team in the play. I mean, I'm sorry, who has the team in the playoff? No, I, I think Utah's going to win. I yeah, think they're going to win by a wide margin. I think they're going to make in. a case to be that fourth. No, team. they they will. They'll win this game by two to three touchdowns, and, and they, they won't will, get in. And they will be in. No. Well, that's because ba Baylor's going to get in. But that we'll, 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 they're not going to put Utah in this fucking thing. Are you kidding me? They need it. Utah needs all the breaks to get in. I think if they put up an impressive win Friday night before everyone else plays, I think they have a shot. I don't think they have a who, shot. Who who gets in if Baylor and Utah both win and Georgia and Oklahoma? lose well, well obviously Oklahoma Baylor, yeah. yeah um I think if if Utah wins by wins like a f by a field goal and Baylor blows out Oklahoma does Baylor get in I mean personally I actually think the winner of the Big 12 should go in because it's the best conference in college football this year I, I wouldn't be upset if, if a Big 12 team got in I wouldn't be upset if Utah got in with a big win I I Either way, I'm okay. If anything, I, now, I'd be Georgia more, can't can't be. They Georgia, shouldn't be in. They shouldn't. Georgia be. can't get in. Like we can't leverage the well. They lost to a team that was better. They did what they were supposed to do. That that can't work here. So I think to me, it's either Baylor, Oklahoma, or Utah. Yeah, period. I agree. I completely agree. And anyway, lay the points. You're a fool for t it's a sucker. Well, especially it's how a bad the dog. SEC East is. Well, again, I'm all over Utah here. Me too. Maction time, Miami, Ohio. 
squaring off against Central Michigan in Detroit, Michigan. Central Michigan minus seven, minus two sixty on the money line, a plus two ten. Miami of Ohio total sitting at fifty four. Colby, what are you doing here? I'm all over the Chippewas here in Central Michigan. I think uh, McElwain kind of an underrated coach. Uh, I thought he got a raw deal at Florida. He had a four and seven year, but the year before they won ten games. Love what he did at Colorado State, and uh, clearly, I mean, he's making a difference. Now, I, I will say that Central Michigan, uh, yes, they won one game last year, but the previous years they were very good under John Bonamigo, and uh, and I like what McElwain's, McElwain's done with Central Michigan. He walked into a talented situation. Running back Jonathan Ward is a beast, um, and I'm still not sold on Miami, Ohio. I'm still not sold. Uh, so give me give me Central Michigan minus the seven, especially it's in Detroit too. Gonna get some 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 Chippewa fans coming up for this one. <laughs> You're not worried about uh, Red Hawk Nation traveling. How far is Mount Pleasant to Detroit? All right, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure Central Michigan. Do some calculating in there. over here. Right? Call, or, will, uh, will Big Ben be there? It's an <laughs> Probably, important part right? of my handicap. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of those guys who will get penetration. Kramer, uh, if you, you haven't here? been to Detroit or where the stadium is, there's some nice gambling opportunities there is. right I have around been. the I city have of Detroit, <laughs> right across the water in Windsor. Uh, an underrated town, to get, like to get a casino this. right in Greek Town. Yeah, like you just yeah. you're walking through this weird mall, and then bang, you got a, a pie gow table that you would, let's just say you're there for work, and you accidentally sit down, and yes. next thing you know, you're up a grand at eleven thirty in the morning drinking a coffee yeah. in some weird casino. And did, anyway, uh, I guess we're not going to disagree on everyone. I also like Central Michigan. I think too much offense. Miami of Ohio is not going to be able to keep up here. Uh, so yeah, lay the points. I'm, I'm seeing yeah. a very juicy teaser opportunity right mm. here. Ooh, I'm also ooh. on central Michigan. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at total score, passing yards, rushing yards, time, uh, on the field, ooh. number of plays, yards per play, all in favor of central Michigan by a wide margin. I think they're going to just put it on them. I, I, how did, how does Miami of Ohio slow them down? I just don't see it. Call me. How do they slow him down? <laughs> um, they slow him down by by trying to stop Jonathan Ward once again. Uh, one of the better running backs. This guy will be playing in the NFL. Mm. Easily the I would say easily the best running back in the MAC. Ooh. Um, he was a stud last year, stud this year. If they can slow him down and make them throw the ball, perhaps they have a chance. I don't think it's going to happen because this guy is better than everybody on the on the on the defensive side of the ball. Like he's just going to destroy. Is it the Red Hawks now? Because I knew him as the Redskins in the nineties, but um, they're just going to run right through. Wow, right? Chloe, come on, dude. <laughs> We're going to get bad reviews. You know how our listeners hate that when you <laughs> you say the word Redskins. Remember when every football announcer was? Like, I'm hey, not going to say the the football team from Washington D.C. <laughs> and then <laughs> people just gave up uh, after yeah. like two weeks. Let's talk about the Sun Belt Conference Championship. One of the few podcasts out there that is taking time to break down. And go to Boone. We went to Boone. Well, we as in me and the podcast. There you go. You, <laughs> you represented the brand, Colby. Uh, UL Lafayette yeah. squares off against App State. App State minus six and a half in Boone, North Carolina. Minus 245 on the money line for App State. Lafayette plus 195. Total sitting at 56. Colby, I know you're a big App State guy. You're buttering them up as, uh, you know. Yeah. I mean, if Are there was a real playoff, here? they'd probably fuck up Clemson. Um, they beat North Carolina by more than Clemson did. Both they played at at, at Chapel Hill, so there's something something to be said there. Um, so, oh my God! Yes, exactly. Zach Thomas is probably better than Trevor Lawrence, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, look, App State's legit. Their their one loss was in in the rain against a triple option team on a short week against a rival. Um. This is easy. I, I think it was one of my locks earlier in the year. They won seventeen to seven. I think it was when they played in uh, Lafayette. I know it's hard to beat a team twice, but um, Boone, North Carolina, is Boone, North Carolina. This place is going to be lit. Like I said, App State. I actually think they're probably the, better than Memphis. Probably better than Boise. Probably better than Cincinnati, and they should be the one that gets the Group of Five bid. Them and Boise, I think it ba it comes down to. But uh, they're gonna they're gonna run over uh, Lafayette here. I don't right? have the numbers in front of me, but I think that it's tough to beat a team twice is bullshit, and I think it's been disproved. I think if anything, when you're, I, I think the the trend. I don't is think it's been disproven. Yeah, no, I think it. I, I, I'll, I'll like dig Oklahoma and Texas last year is one. One, I think, where it didn't especially work. the Big Twelve. The Big Twelve is notorious where they never got it done. 
I saw something today that, especially when teams are favored in both matchups, it's it's very skewed huh. tor- towards straight up wins. It's happened a bunch. So uh, for that reason, I mean, I think there's the other angle here, which is just Appalachian State seems to be at a, a different class level than other teams in their conference. I'd be very surprised to see App a situation State's better with- than every single team in the ACC minus Clemson. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. No, they are. They are. Well, I, there's no way to see you. You hate the theoretical, but you keep ch- chumming up this theoretical. I'm just argument. saying, watch them as a team. I've watched. All I'm, the other I'm teams. picking them as a, a six and a half point favorite. They what would I'm gonna never say is, lose to Duke by what, 37 what, points. What I'm trying to say <laughs> is, I'd be surprised if they lost this game. And I, for that reason, I'm not looking to take the Raging Cajuns as a six and a half point dog. So give me the Appalachian State. Now this was. Uh, this is off a random message board last year, but Ooh, according okay. to this, uh, like according this. to Papa Horn <laughs> of the uh, Texas Horns twenty four seven message board, teams that won the regular season game are fifteen and nine in there the you rematch. Go. There you go. Since when? Well, obviously, that's again, a- I, you know, Papa Horn. The last twenty four times it's happened. Okay, I am going with U L Lafayette. Give me the Ragens Cajuns. They're going to be angry. They're gonna, they're gonna, their blood's gonna be boiling. Louisiana Lafayette nine and three against the spread in their last twelve games, and good but, pals over at Odd Shark, they're predicting their their supercomputer has it thirty five point eight to thirty five point four in favor, an outright victory. Does the super for the raging Cajuns? Does the supercomputer factor in weather? No, because yes, Levi does. Levi Lewis, Louisiana Lafayette's quarterback, good player, but you're coming into old Boone, North Carolina. It's this gonna be a beautiful is in day. The mountains. Four miles per hour of wind, 41 degrees Fahrenheit. That's good hitting weather. 41 miles per hour, or, or not miles per no. hour, but 41 degrees. Yeah. That's perfect. That's for, good. For Lafayette? Good hitting so. weather. I don't think so. So you have a sneaky kind of uh, hillbilly thing going on here, right? You have the, the like, water boy dudes from New Orleans, Louisiana, coming up to the mountains where they get to run into the banjo of deliverance. <laughs> Mama yes, said the yes. raging Cajuns are going to cover six and a half. I, I think. I mean, it's a home game. We, we got this. It's, one. A, it's a home game. Yeah. Sean, Sean's getting cute. I am getting cute. Love getting cute on the podcast. You know what else I love doing? Helping people start their own small businesses. That's right. Tired of losing money to a sports book? Why not become your own sports book? That's right. Get on the other side of the counter. All you got to do, head over to aceperhead.com. That's right, aceperhead.com slash SGP. Why go there? Well, then Aceperhead knows that you came courtesy of the Sports Gambling Podcast. They're going to help you get six weeks free starting your own sports book. They set you up. Colby, do you know how to start your own website? Whoa, 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 whoa. You're getting getting crazy over here. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know how to start your own website? It doesn't matter. You don't need to know. Do you know how to program a sports book? Do you know how to have... Uh, a professional betting site with all the lines updated to the last second and wagers graded immediately. Probably not. And Hey, it's no big deal. You don't have to know that all you have to do. All you have to know is the, know the sports gambling podcast and our good friends over at ACE per head. We'll hook you guys up. Go to ACE slash S G P. Again, you can get up to six weeks free starting your own sports book. It's just that easy folks. So I don't know why you're not doing this right now. Get that extra Holiday cash, whatever holiday you choose to celebrate, you're going to need cold, hard cash. And why not earn that cash by starting your own sports book? Aceperhead.com slash SGP. Trucking along here through the conference college or college football conference championships. I keep, it's a bit of a tongue twister. A lot of words, a lot of words. (laughs) Big 12 championship. One of my teams that I predicted would be in the college football playoff, Baylor. Is this, are these times correct, Ryan? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Saturday. 9 a.m. Baylor. Sorry for boring you, that, Colby. That, well, that's 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 not normally the case. That's why it's a little shocking. Big 12 conference uh, games, uh, games are normally at night, I feel like. This is this this feels like a Fox thing. Like Fox must have a triple huh. header and they had to jam one of them up. But now why why uh, the Virginia Clemson game is in prime time and Baylor Oklahoma game is not I, again do I you think want me to uh, do you want me to answer that 
Why is that, Colby? Because, come on, the powers that be. Oh, it's powers biased. That be. It's is all that, bullshit. That's why the Pac-12 plays on Friday night. It's all night. bullshit. Baylor <laughs> catching eight and a half points in Arlington <laughs> against the Sooners. Eight and a half points. Oklahoma minus 310 on the money line. Baylor plus 250. Total sitting at 56. Colby, what are you doing here? Matt Rule. Yeah, all right. Matt Rule all day. Look, they, they let him off the hook. You want to crown him? You crown him. 4 and 0 against the They spread. are who right. we thought they yeah. were. 4 and 0 as a dog this year. Uh I'm all over Baylor <laughs> here. Sprinkle some on that money line, mm. but definitely taking the eight and a half. Um I am worried because as we know public dogs have fleas and it looks like the the public has has seen the the same things where 76% mm. of the money 70% of the tickets. Oh my God. It's a good thing I don't pay attention to those numbers. The number was what? When? What was That's the spread? That's one thing Colby hates, numbers. What was the spread a couple weeks ago when they played in Baylor? Uh, uh, what was it? 10, maybe? Yeah, it was similar. Yeah, yeah. It was like Something 10. Like yeah. So it's, it's, so it's not, not crazy over adjustment. It's cut, well, it's come down on a neutral field. That's backwards. Still in Texas, though. Only an hour from... Uh, a lot of people yeah. like Oklahoma and Texas, too. I'm I'm on I'm on Matt Rule here. Did you see what they uh, did to Kansas last week? Yeah, he, here's my problem. Could have been a coach for the New York Giants, Ryan. Instead, you guys uh, lucked out with Pat J- Shermer, and, l- and are going to luck out in the future with Jason Garrett. Why, oh, why are we talking about right? this? How, how you doing? Because some of these college football guys yeah. are going to move up to the pros. There's a chance, Ryan, that uh, you guys may need a coach. Lincoln Riley. Up. There you go. That's the guy. Ooh. Go get him. Colby, uh, if you were uh, the GM for the New York Giants, Dave Gettleman, or at least uh, we'll see if he gets to keep his <laughs> job, but would you draft Joe Burrow? It looks like the Giants will probably get the second pick. Would oh, you yeah. draft Joe Burrow? I mean, I think it's a no-brainer. You gotta, you gotta go over over Scones Jones, right? Ch- I mean, Ch- Chase, Chase Young's I'm joking. there. I'm, I'm actually a firm believer that you don't draft a quarterback in the first round. Oh wow! Because wow. the Jets have done oh. it far too many times <laughs> and gotten burned. Uh. Well, Sam Darnold, I, I think uh, he's still he selling the shot. He's, he's still tweeting to me these this bullshit. He, Darnold threw for three hundred against. He's the number two quarterback yeah. in that class so far. Well, no, I, I Allen, don't know. Uh, Josh Allen. Allen. No. Oh well, he's. I think I would take Sam Darnold over Baker Mayfield. You're crazy. You're crazy because one has Freddie Kitchens. If you swapped, yeah, but he has he has Jarvis Landry and Baker Mayfield too. I would argue that Mayfield's first year, Mayfield's first year mixed with this year is better than Darnold's both years. I would say moving forward, I would rather have Sam Darnold. But again, Josh Allen was a guy I was super high on as well, and he's looked like he's finally panned out. I mean, you, you gotta. I mean, I'm saying Colby, Lamar Jackson's Colby. in the draft too. Uh, like, objective. how do you even have Darnold even two? He's like uh, four. It's Lamar Jackson, Darnold. Then Darnold's better than Allen. Yeah. You get the fuck. If out you of swap here. the, the fuck out if of you here. swap their spots, You're, Allen is in a very functional place. He has well, also strong. Allen, I do think, is in the perfect place for his skill set. I think Sean McDermott, the way they're running that offense. Did you watch Sam Darnold I would go against as, winning teams this year? I would go as far to say this. I think Darnold uh, would be the best. Co- if you just scrambled up, like Lamar Jackson is in the best situation he could be in. Of course. That's, right? And, and Baker Mayfield Allen, is in the worst. Josh Allen is one of the best. Is in one of the best situations he could be in. No. Bills historically are a bad franchise over the past 20 years. But, but I'm they're saying, letting him do his thing. They have a strong defense. They're winning games that, because that, of That it. doesn't mean Mark Sanchez had a strong defense. He was still a bust. My point is, is that Baker Mayfield getting drafted by the Browns hurts your chances to succeed. That's yeah, a see, fact for like 40 years of quarterbacks. That's a fact. We're, we're getting off topic, but you not really because we're talking about Oklahoma, but you are just you're framing your argument. To, I, I said to have, that, though, to have sympathy no, 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 for no. Baker. Mayfield. I was hoping the Jets drafted him because I was like, oh, man, he got drafted by the Browns. That hurts his career. It may hurt his career, but he's surrounded by he has the best talent around him of any of the quarterbacks no. he was drafted with. Lamar Jackson skill positions. Yeah. Are you serious, Colby? Are you still going to – Odell Beckham's Are good? Are you serious? Wide receivers are the most overrated position in the NFL. They don't matter. Look at the teams that win Super Bowls. They never have great wide Pick receivers. Pick a position. Ne- Pick uh, a position and tell me he doesn't have – Mark Ingram is better than fucking oh, – what? No, that's, they have, that's they not have, correct. You're, they you're have, just wrong. They have Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. You're, Kareem Hunt uh, – Right. Dude, listen, you man. don't think Kareem Hunt's listen, helping you, the Cleveland you're back, a product of, a product we've of backed system. Colby and Colby's like the possum in your in your cross space. Sean. <laughs> you really believe yeah. though that they're better than their skill positions are better than the Ravens? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I mean that's yeah. not a good argument. Yeah. You want? I mean Willie Sneed is a 
primary. Why, why, let me ask catcher. you this: Why do you think the Giants traded Beckham? Because he's a pain in the ass. Yeah, that's but what I'm it saying. doesn't like, mean he's be- it does. It, they don't have to be mutually you're, exclusive. You're trying. He can be a pain in the ass and still be worse than Willie Sneed. Anyway, or I'm laying the no, point. I know he's a better wideout, but for your team, for a quarterback, I think it's actually horrible to have that on your team. Again, uh, objectively, uh, would the Giants take Odell Beckham Jr. back? No, I don't think they would either. Why would you not? Because he's a fucking. Uh, when you have a, 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 why would the Steelers give Antonio Brown a, away <laughs> like that? I know, you know but what the I mean? Giants like, are so bad. The Giants need more than a wide receiver. But but you all can't you right. can't Don't deny worry, Freddie Kitchens is by far the worst out of all of them. Yeah, but is he the worst because Baker Mayfield? No, he's the worst because he was not qualified for the fucking. I think job. you can make a case that Adam Gase is worse than than Freddie Kitchens. Uh, again, I don't, Darnold. I, I think even I who hate I despise the hire of Adam Gase. Your, your stance is is interesting because Baker May. I think the average person who follows football would say clearly Baker Mayfield has a situation for success. I agree. I mean, we agree Freddie Kitchens is a buffoon, but so is Adam Gase. Yeah, but, the, I mean, I give Gase a little bit more credit than Kitchens. What? Because I think he was qualified. How so? No, I'm saying to get the Dolphins job, to get – Kitchens was never he's qualified lost. to be a head coach. He's got, he's got one of the uh, – No, he was not qualified to get the Jets coach. Adam but Gase. But I'm saying he was not – he he was, should have been a – he's way more All qualified right. resume-wise – then Let's, Freddie Kitchen. I like Oklahoma back. to lay the points <laughs> okay. in this spot. I, I, I'm going to just keep back in my Baylor Bears. I am worried. I'm worried that the public is on Baylor. They were a sneaky play the first time around. I had him, you know, again, I had him in the college football playoff. Keep patting myself on the back for that. They, if they would have won that first game against Oklahoma and then won again, uh, they'd be in a much better spot. But. Even though the public's all over Baylor, I got to fade this Oklahoma team. They just they just are really weird. They have moments they're they're probably one of the most like schizophrenic college football teams even though they have a shitload of talent and are well coached. Everyone's Jekyll saying and Hyde. Everyone's saying Lincoln Riley is uh, get him in the NFL. We want him for the Giants. He's the best. There's some serious motivation issues. There's some serious collapses uh, that this team has on the field for a team that's 11 and 1. It's kind of crazy, and I don't think Lincoln Riley's the slam dunk, awesome coach at the next level that people may think he is. But all that being said, Baylor plus eight and a half. Conference USA Championship in Boca Raton, Florida, ten thirty West Coast kick. UAB, the Dragons, enter the Dragon. Florida Athletic squares off against them, minus seven and a half. <laughs> What's up, Colby? Mike uh, Kiffin, baby. It, it, it's, it's Atlantic, but I like Florida Athletic. That's funny. Um, oh, did I say Florida Athletic? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that a brand? <laughs> it's. Uh, we're, we're making. Is it? We're making. You're making Sean upset. <laughs> I'm taking the uh, the Komodo mm. Dragons and UAB all day here. Um, first off, Lane Kiffin. I I saw reports that he was actually interv- did an interview with Arkansas. I think the coaches. If I mean the players, probably saw that same report I saw all, all over Twitter. So I'm assuming. They're probably going to tune out a little bit. Oh, coach is going to leave us on this great season we're having. Right? We're, yeah. Uh, confirmed meeting with Arkansas. Did I confirm that? No, no, no. no. I'm saying it's confirmed. Rat poison. I mean, I don't know. It's all over Twitter, so they're going to believe it one way or another. Well, and yeah. I think, uh, like, forget this game because this game means nothing. <laughs> L- Lane Kiffin back in the SEC oh, going man. toe-to-toe with Eddie O. And, this and, would be the most horrible hire for Arkansas. Oh, it w- yeah, ha- no. I-, I would love for them to hire well, yeah, exactly, Kiffin right? just because like, it's two different hilarious. things, right? Yeah. Like, uh, if we're an Arkansas program backer, we d- Lane Kiffin needs to stay far away. Yeah. Far, yeah, far yeah, away, yeah. right? But if you're a fan of, of drama, and yeah. you're a fan of, yeah. of just a guy who's willing to mix it up. <laughs> great, great use of Twitter. I mean, don't you think it's going to be great when he plays Alabama? Every uh, year, when they lose by forty-five. Oh no! Yeah. Forget that—the part yeah. where he trolls Nick Saban yeah. on social yeah. media, SEC yeah. Media Day. Exactly. I'm also I'm with Colby. Give me the, uh, give me the UAB Blazers, Komodo Dragons, baby. Come on, one win away. Come Enter on. the dragon. Is this for bowl eligibility? No, they're no, they're, they're, they're both. I'm, bowl teams. Yeah, I'm going yeah. chalk again. The, I, I might not take a dog. You're going. You're going all favorites, Ryan. <laughs> well, so far. All right. Florida. Later no, you know what? I'll go half. UAB. They they're becoming our and, and it, you're right. Uh, if I was playing for Lane Kiffin, I'd be like, "Fuck you, dude." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it just seems like a nice 
lane uh, lane collapse game here in Boca Raton, Florida. Cincinnati heads to Memphis, Tennessee for the American Championship. They just played Memphis minus nine and a half point favorite minus three forty on the money line. Cincinnati plus two seventy total sitting at fifty seven and a half. Colby, what's going on here? I'm all over Cincinnati here. Um, sprinkle some on the money line. And I don't know if you watched the game last week, guys, but they did not have their quarterback. They got him there. Uh, they started a freshman quarterback last week. Desmond Ritter sat it out. He was in uniform. But um, my, from my reports as of as of Ooh. two days ago, they think he's going to play this game. Uh, Luke Fickle saying Desmond Ritter is our quarterback, and it's up to him. And He's reporting that he's 50-50 at the time, but I think, I think come on. It's the fucking championship game. Where was the game last week? Memphis. This week's in Memphis. And what was the spread last week? Last eleven week was eleven. 11. They and covered. The game was what? Ten. Yeah. Ten. And that was even a bullshit cover. That was like <sighs> final couple minutes cover. And now it's a nine and a half point number. Yeah. And can they do it two weeks in a row? No. Desmond Ritter is a huge difference on this team. He can run. This freshman quarterback, although he played better, is he going to second play? half? I think so. Judging by that. Um but he can he's a much more of an athlete. This quarterback was a freshman. They went straight from a experienced quarterback to a true freshman starting his first ever game. That is a huge fucking thing in college football when you start your first ever game in a huge game like that. So I'm all over uh the Bearcats here. I say sprinkle some of the money line on this one. Wow. <laughs> Do you have any sprinkles left? You like that uh I said two. I've only said two so far. <laughs> Baylor and like the the Baylor, Baylor and Cincinnati. You're the Utah kid in the stadium. You got Cin all your sprinkles there. Uh, <laughs> Cincy is and six, I, and I like six the, and zero against the spread. I, the, I, I like Cincinnati way more than Baylor on the on the money line. Cincinnati eight and two against the spread in their last ten games against Memphis. So I think you can go six and zero uh, for for the road hmm. um, spots against Memphis. Cincinnati, a good team, and uh, I think they're just a quality team. I think it's tough to. The back-to-back -back thing, I think, helps the the team that just lost by ten, motivation-wise, everything else. Give me Cincinnati plus nine and a half. I'm with you, Colby. There we Maybe go. Maybe I'll get the sprinkle sack out. Kramer, what are you doing? <sighs> yeah, I just you know I hear all the reasons Colby likes them, but give me uh, give me Memphis. Cincinnati nine and one straight up in their last ten games. Yep. They just win games. Yeah. The only one they lost was they're overrated. Starting a freshman quarterback. How are they? How are they overrated? Overrated. A lot of a lot of close wins. A lot of bullshit. Yeah, but they're getting nine and a half, right? Yeah. They beat Virginia Tech in the bowl game last year. He's still oh, okay. That's that. weird. Yeah. I mean, you want you want to believe that the points are good, but trap. Ryan, you know what else? You know what else I want to believe in? What's that? Express VPN. That's right. Pretty excited when I heard they were going to be a sponsor on the program because I already use Express VPN. I didn't get uh, three months free with a one-year package, but you guys have that opportunity. All you got to do, do is uh, go to expressvpn.com slash SGP, expressvpn.com slash SGP. They're suggesting that uh, you sign up for the NBA League Pass. And then uh, if you're watching the game and you're getting local blackouts, which happens, mm. or the national game blackout, whatever the, whatever the deal is, just say you're coming from a different country. Bing, bang, boom. Nice little workaround. And Express VPN, pretty sweet. Works on your computer, phone. You can put it on the router. Consoles like Fire TV. Any device you're watching a game on, you can throw Express VPN. And again, you're in the sports gambling world. Do I need to explain why you may need to encrypt some of your data? Hide some of it? Keeping it safe from hackers or your old lady. Maybe she's got an IP sniffer there, checking your checking your packets as they go in and out. Whatever it is, uh, you want your you want your data secure. You want it safe. You want to avoid local blackouts. ExpressVPN.com/sgp. That's right. Enjoy all 1,230 games of the NBA season in HD with the world's most trusted VPN, ExpressVPN. Avoid that blackout. And uh, depending on country, NBA League Pass could cost less than 15 bucks for a whole year. Jeez. I wish I would have heard all this before 
signed up for NBA League Pass earlier in the year. But good to, good to know you guys have that opportunity that, that I didn't have. ExpressVPN.com slash SGP. Got to watch out for those IP sniffers. <laughs> well, there are there are tools, Ryan, that can you can sniff out packets and pull people's data. Yep. Not the first thing I like to sniff. But. <laughs> oh, wow. What? <laughs> Soy boy over here. Nah, well, you know, the, they, they say when you change your diet, uh, y- your taste buds change. Your, <laughs> oh, my so, God. So, you know. <laughs> that is a disgusting act. Certainly Mount- don't have a smell for oh, Jason Garrett. <laughs> Mountain West Championship Hawaii heads to Boise, Idaho to square off against Boise State Saturday, 1 o'clock kick. Boise State, 13 and a half point favorite, minus 550 on the money line. Hawaii, a plus 400 dog going the other way. Total sitting at a whopping 64 and a half. Colby. What, do we have a weather report on this game, please? Yeah. Can we load that up. Because I can tell you, regardless, I'm going to take Hawaii. Boise. But it's going to be warm. No, Boise is going to fuck with them. It's going to be warm in Boise. Really? 51 degrees and uh, some. Global warming working chan- in favor of the some, Rainbow some Warriors. Rain. Uh, I'm still going Boise. I, they destroyed him before Who in Boise. Him, yeah, I, on the Smurf turf, it's a tough. I place thought it's to come tough to, to beat someone twice, Colby. Well, not when you're Hawaii and, and Boise State. See, they, these conferences don't play a neutral site. Massive. They have to go to. Yeah. Yeah. So that that, that probably changes your stat in your direction then. Oh, I love Boise State here. No, no, no. I'm saying these small conferences. So oh, when they maybe. play a team twice, and it's at a home, it's a home environment. Yeah. Because like I can Memphis. tell you the big the 12. Kids, the kids from Hawaii, they're going to be overwhelmed with our abundance of uh, spam products here in the mainland, the easy access to spam, the <laughs> fact that you can get all the different fast food promotions that they hear on national TV, and then it says, oh, except Hawaii and Alaska, and they can't get the McChicken Did, did you guys dollar. get that tweet that uh, Soy Boy might have caused Chris Peterson to uh, to, to resign? Oh, no. You know what happened? What was their theory? Someone uh, tweeted that the fact that uh, I think this was a Washington fan, but the fact that we were in the state of Washington that long, that Chris <laughs> Peterson was turned off by the, 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 the residents of Washington thinking. Oh, wow. You know, they had gone veggie. It was too boy. stressful. Yeah, yeah. So recruiting. Uh, I mean, happy to have a conversation with Chris Peterson about <laughs> the merits of, of a plant-based diet, but. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I, a real man doesn't doesn't step down. <laughs> a real man doesn't walk away from commitment. And I'm a, as much as I love Chris Peterson as a coach, I, I've lost a little respect for Chris, Chris Peterson, the man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> why? Because he resigned? Stunning indictment. Well, yeah. also, why not just resign? Why do you need to say, oh, it's stress? It's like, yeah, no shit. Every job is stressful. Life is fucking stressful. You wake up. And you're like, oh shit, I'm stressed the fuck out. Have a beer, relax, Chris Peterson. You know, and when you retire, of course, it's because of stress. Would well, you think he was telling those recruits last year that he was thinking about hanging oh, out? Oh man, no, he wasn't. Well, you think maybe, maybe he had an assistant coach that happened to be in that burger joint we were at, Sean, and he saw, <laughs> he saw that chickpea burger. He saw, yeah. he saw kids today. He's like, yeah. you know, the young people, they're <laughs> He's lost. Like, I can't relate. Get me out of this position. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, and I, by the way, I was going to pick Washington. And you guys uh, sprinkled fairy dust on me because I, I, I play that episode back. I picked Washington. And you guys like, how can you go against the Cougars? We were just there. Yeah, exactly. You guys have been doing that a lot to me lately. Jaden, my stats. Hawaii. You know I mean? We've always done that. <laughs> Hawaii. 0-7 straight up in the last seven games when playing in Boise. I think uh, this is another disaster for the Warriors. So, yeah, so give me Boise State. It's always tough to go from Hawaii to Idaho. <laughs> Hello, I'm in Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> But those bars in Moscow, boy, do we have a good time. I hope yeah, they enjoyed I, I was our, our John Elway Tom map. Brady Who knew talk. how fucking big Idaho was? Yeah, yeah. Boise Giant. is like on the border of Southern Oregon. Crazy. Yeah. The SEC Championship, Saturday, 1 o'clock kick. Georgia squares off against We Tigers, a.k.a. LSU. My- I, real quick, Sean, sorry. that This has actually been renamed to the the – informal national championship oh wow may as well be a warm-up for the national championship in atlanta georgia lsu minus eight against the bulldogs minus 290 on the money line georgia plus 235 total sitting at 54 and a half i'll kick things off i'm going lsu man i I think this georgia team's a bit fraudulent as far as one win teams i I thought they were going to have a look ahead spot last week but they uh they put it on them they put it on uh, Texas A&M. 
I mean, how can you go against LSU right now? They're just fucking on fire. Give me LSU minus eight. Not a problem. They're going to want to try and make a case for being number one in the college football playoffs. So I think they're going to be highly motivated. They're just so much better. Lane, Kiffin, yeah. think about this. Lane Kiffin, Ed, Eddie O, and Jimbo all in one division. <laughs> it's like every crazy college football character. Yeah. And not to mention Nick Saban's still there. The only thing I'm bummed out is that Lane got divorced from that hot-ass ex-wife of his. Uh, is that bad or good? I mean, for me, I always like as a single you know, man. I mean, but but for coach for his coaching, he's yeah. probably tired. She he is probably from Southern California. He's I think, probably so. all of a sudden not having as much time to do things. <laughs> uh, you know, you got to be careful. Imagine being a college. I, I, ma- I get your point. Imagine your being point. on a college <laughs> campus. Imagine being on a college <laughs> campus as the head football coach recently divorced. Yeah. That scene, especially a campus like Arkansas, where, where you've been known, has, where you've been known to ride a little motor scooter around town. I, I was going to say, <laughs> I, I, I've, I've heard that oh, uh, the assistants there are quite easy. <laughs> um, yeah, lay the points with LSU. I mean, uh, no one's getting involved with Georgia here, right? George, George is a paper tiger. Yeah, I'm all over LSU. All over LSU. You got the paper tigers and you got the real tigers. If George is going to stay in this game, then uh, they got to have a pick six or a punt return or a block punt of, or something. Well, and it yeah. is in Atlanta. I could, I could, I could see a scenario where Georgia comes to play, but the LSU team is just so, so talented. I heard someone handicap this and and include that Georgia has more SEC championship game experience. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. Yeah, LSU experience rolls. of choking. Thank you for choking. participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. <laughs> Clemson is at home for the ACC Championship. Uh, it's, in, it's in Charlotte. Yeah, I was going to get to that. Okay. Sorry. Well, you said at home. All right. Clemson <laughs> is the favorite. <laughs> minus 28. They were on the bottom part. <laughs> Can you explain that? In to Charlotte, me? North Carolina. <laughs> Clemson's in South Carolina, so this is a neutral state. Yeah, I don't understand. How is this at home, buddy? How are you going to get to that? I was going to get to it by correcting myself. I was leading (laughs) into a joke about how Virginia Tech was supposed to be there. You fucked the whole thing up. (laughs) Minus 28, you pick the game. (laughs) (laughs) Look, the Fuck My Life Tour is strong right now. Yeah, I I doubted it, and it's fucking – it's a legit thing. So that's why I'm going with the Wahoos. Plus 28 – and dare I say, mm. dare I say, sprinkle something. No, no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Don't sprinkle this money line, guys. Uh, I, so, you know, some some will have you believe that Clemson doesn't believe, doesn't deserve to be in the playoff. <laughs> I mean, I I think UCF. As an undefeated team. UCF, the, the years UCF was undefeated, the past two. Better, better schedule. Better schedule than better Clemson schedule. this year. It's That's hard, all I'm saying. It's hard yeah. to argue when you have a situation where they're laying 28 in a conference championship game. By far the only, like, by a mile, the <laughs> yeah. biggest biggest number out there. But isn't Clemson the most motivated team out of any team in these conference championship games? Uh, I mean, with the exception maybe of of Utah, because they they really feel disrespected for some reason. Dabo Sweeney just keeps rallying. He's a like, fucking maniac. No one's yeah. disrespecting them. No, the ACC, but it, he, he's trying to give credit but to they, a shitty conference. They're buying <laughs> into it. Yeah, dude. Motivation is a, a hell of a I have tool. a beholder, right? And <laughs> if he is able to leverage the fact that, Hey, we haven't lost. Yeah. Uh, we're the reigning national champs. And they're telling us, I'm sure he's going to leverage because our schedule sucks because the teams we had to play Week in and week out, suck ass this year. That's our problem. They are going to bend these wannabe, <laughs> the only university in all the land that would rather be a private school than a public school. Hey, Virginia storms the field pretty quality, though. That was a nice storming of the field. I know that hurt. I know you were eating granola out in fucking wherever the hell I didn't were. see it. I right? still have not seen it. I have the okay. D- I've DVR'd it. I have not watched it. All right, so let's let's just recap. I, I it's been 19 years since I first stepped foot on the campus of the univer the the Virginia Polytechnic Institute <laughs> and State University, and in that time, a lot of dogs one, have died. One loss, right. <laughs> one loss to Virginia, and it hasn't happened in 15 years. That's true. And this motherfucker, Justin Fuente. Oh, uh, you want him out now? He has the fucking balls to get the team buying in to his bullshit 
Bud Foster's last hurrah. Back-to-back shutouts. They're riding high, and what do they do? They give up 39 points to the University of fucking Virginia. You know how people get dressed to go to football games there? Tiki torches. Tiki torches and white hoods, all right? These are not good people. The, the long family included. They, they're they part of this. Oh, come on. They're part of this from Chris, Charlottesville. Chris Long is super woke, dude. <laughs> what about your boy Tiki Barber? He was a great giant. Yeah. Yeah. He's too, a legendary too, giant. Won a Super Bowl. I, I don't want to. <laughs> listen. A, a, no, he didn't, did he? A couple. No. Yeah. <laughs> to be from Roanoke and not go to Virginia Tech, fuck you. And you know what the worst thing on Sundays is? When we find out that we have to listen to fucking Rondé Barber all day. <laughs> At least they got rid of the, the, the double Barber booth. Yeah. But now, anyway. The long, Barber sandwich. Let, Menage a Barber. <laughs> I say all of that. To I wonder say, if that's got coleslaw in it. As much huh? as I yes. hate private schools, <laughs> which oh, Colby has not seen uh, the new shirts, which hashtag coleslaw. Yeah. Oh man, cousin I'm Bush said, uh, "Yeah, this. if you if you had watched the DFS episode, uh, you would see that Capper Bear wearing a hashtag coleslaw T-shirt. So very nice. Uh, as much as I hate private schools." Uh, I, I once uh, partied at Clemson. I had a very good time, much better time than I've ever had on the campus. Oh, yeah, I partied at Clemson, man. too. It was a lot. A lot. I never it's been a, to it's Virginia. It's a fun time. <laughs> I never went to Virginia to party because I'm not a douchebag. But I mean, I'm not a douchebag. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Uh, yeah. Where are you going with this, Ryan? Yeah. Clemson minus 28. <laughs> Lay the points. Clemson minus 28, because we there's no place in the game of college football for racists in Charlottesville. <laughs> Sorry. So, sorry if that offends you. You know what uh, about Clemson? They're also uh, pretty good at covering huge spreads. They're an incredible 9-3 or 9 and 3 against the spread in uh games where they're favored by 20 plus. They're also a uh, second in scoring margin, 34.1 points per game. Clemson rolls. I mean, UVA sucks. They made Virginia Tech look competent. So yeah, give me Clemson all day. I- I've heard that Dabo is uh, playing some of the footage of the last rally to get the Clemson team <laughs> motivated. Hey, you ra- see what these UVA boys are doing? Ra- random thought here, guys. Though, so Appalachian State went eleven and one. Mm. Georgia yep. went eleven and one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Georgia lost in Athens, Georgia, to South Carolina on their third string quarterback. Yeah. App State went to Columbia, South Carolina, and beat their yep. second string quarterback. Isn't that funny how that works? How they just so a yeah. I, you really have to throw out the transitive property with football. It doesn't work. I hear you, but it's with, not. But it's such a small sample. It's just fine. Colby, crazy. until we get until we get to a real playoff where every conference is represented with a conference champion, there's no point in talking about. It. I'm with you. We're gonna do. You know what we're gonna do next week there on we the go. college show. There we go. That's what I'm. Because there's for. only one game and a couple of straggler bowl games. FCS, FCS playoffs, a real fucking playoff. We, we all right. You <laughs> know what? We can we can pick those games. But we are gonna we are gonna give out. Yes. Our oh, college yeah. football playoff. The way it should be. The way it should be. Sixteen. Te- we're not gonna get crazy. We're yeah. not doing Colby's like sixty four team. I want sixty four. <laughs> I'm but with well, Leach. Then he's gonna have the sixty eight. Dude, the, the you, plane are, you, games. are you guys gonna go there and tell Mike Leach that you don't agree with sixty four? No, but you gotta start somewhere, right? And, That's true. And, and right now we've gone from two to four. We need to get from four to eight, and then eight to sixteen. Sixteen seems doable in our lifetime. We legalize weed. We get to 16 teams and legalize sports gambling. It's all happening, guys. I mean, strangely, the last thing to happen, it was like weed legal, black president check. Yeah. Uh, sports almost, gambling. Almost sports got gambling a woman, right? check, But yeah, you know what? College football. Dr. Pepper help, helped us figure out the playoff, but only with four teams. <laughs> only with four teams. The Big Ten Conference <laughs> Championship, the last one we'll be discussing here on the program, Wisconsin. Heads to Indianapolis, Indiana. Start Got it. off against Ohio State. Ohio State minus sixteen and a half, minus seven twenty on the money line. The Badgers plus five ten on the money line. Total sitting at fifty six point four. That can't be right. Colby, <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, I am, look, look. Wisconsin sprinkled some fairy we're, we're dust. On, uh, well, I'll put it like this: Wisconsin. Very similar. Your they're, use of fairy dust it, is like <laughs> is confusing touch. because you keep saying fairy dust and then you're like, you guys sprink you sprinkled fairy dust on me and the picks are bad. Like, I don't know what fairy dust is. How does that work? Fairy dust is pretty much what's in Ryan's sandwich that he eats. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> 
So <laughs> instead of aioli mayo, he <laughs> sprinkles a little fairy dust. It's uh, it's dehydrated uh, moisture straight from the side of the mm. Gold Coast in West Hollywood. That's what it is. Ryan, I learned about uh, Satan this week. Oh, interesting. Yeah, What's you that? should check it out. Is this where you go to haunted houses and see dicks? No, it's, oh, okay. it's some sort of like mushroom that people use to oh, replace yeah. meat or something. Huh. Oh, all right. You'll be eating it if you haven't eaten I it. I see already. what you're doing here. You Does know it, that is? That's the first step. Do you hallucinate at all? Because I'm on no. board. If so, damn, Sha- it. damn Sha- it. First step to Sean hopping over to the uh, hashtag. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's, like, he's getting Plants educated. Plants matter. Right? He's Googling shit. Look, I can't take Wisconsin because Wisconsin's got quarterback play that is much like Sam Darnold. All right? And they just... What's that? Incredibly good looking with great arm talent? <laughs> Jeez, you think he's good looking? Talk more about this, soy boy. All right. He's definitely the best looking quarterback. Oh, in my class. gosh. Ro- Josh Rosen's got a, a nice schnoz, right? <laughs> oh, man, he looks like he looks like some Joe Schmo from Long Island. We don't need that. Uh, okay, here's you the deal. Yeah, fuck one guy from that quarterback class. Lamar, I'm not clear, doing a, Lamar a, a, Jackson. A fuck, clearly. Mary, <laughs> kill with fucking quarterbacks. All right, Ohio State's going to destroy yeah, this team. Right. Wisconsin can't there, throw the ball. There's no handicap. They're a liability. There's no handicap. All right? So, so... Yeah, just take give me give me Ohio State minus. Hop on the absolute public side because you know what's a massive disadvantage here? That Wisconsin has to play this Ohio State team on turf. It's just not I mean it or just in general. Well, <laughs> a Ohio State more talented, but if this was on grass, Wisconsin I think would have a puncher's chance. Yeah, can we can we get rid of these domes? Why are we Football is not supposed to be played in a dome. Yeah, what like, Big 10 yeah. Like Big Ten, you don't think dome football. Like you think out- outdoor cold, coaches wearing nice press sleep, khakis, long grass. That's what I'm saying. It's a lot of bullshit going on in the world grass. these days. How, how many right? teams? That's a millennial thing. A millennial had to decide that. No, no but how right? many teams in the Big Ten play on turf or indoors? Uh, none of them play indoors, right? Yeah. I'm trying to think right now. I can't think of They all play outdoors. They yeah. all play. I, I, Weather is a maybe part of the game some, in maybe, Big Ten football. Maybe there's some synthetic surfaces, but. I'm sure. I, I think Wisconsin might be synthetic surface. I don't sure. know. But uh, why Why is it just because this that is the hybrid biggest, uh, sativa this is, indica? This, <laughs> <laughs> this is the biggest stadium in the in the area? Like, they couldn't find a Why gr- can't they play at Soldier Field? That's perfect. Way better yeah, than Indy. That's like, a great fit. If you're, if you're a, a Big Ten fan, are you? would you rather go to Indy or Chicago? <laughs> Dude, is that a fucking joke? Also, just give it to the – give the home – team to the better team like that home field advantage should be part of no, your no, award I, I, for being the better team I, I but i think in these power conferences if i mean if, if if you're gonna do it then all the power conferences need to do it okay you know what i mean yeah let's do it okay but yeah uh, there's uh, too much money baylor oklahoma dome uh georgia lsu dome these fucking losers yeah play in an environment in that the that I'm matches not, the conference no no but i i disagree because the big i think the big 12 i'm okay with a dome no no, no. a dome it's should more, never happen in football Never. Okay. All right. Come yeah. on. For you for, know this, the first ever football game was played in the Northeast. They didn't play in a fucking dome. No, of right? course they didn't. They hadn't <laughs> figured that out yet, Colby. No, because it's not. I mean, meant there to there also weren't fucking cars back then. Like, what, I, what, 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 what are you? What are we arguing right now? I'm saying you never play football in a dome. Okay. You so can't root for the Lions. You can't root for the Vikings. You can't root for all these teams that are pussies, played in a right? dome. I'm okay with the Big 12 brand playing their championship game in a dome. Why? It none makes of, more sense. None of their teams have a dome. It, it makes more sense. That's the How style does that make more sense? It, it's the style of play, right? Let's spread it out. Let's play high school offense. That's changing. Matt Rule doesn't do that. But I have, a serious, do that. I have a serious problem with the Big 12 playing in a dome. The Big I mean, Ten. Big Ten. Sorry, the Big Ten. The SEC, I think you could even argue the same angle. Like, why are we playing this game in a dome? Yeah. Exactly. Just play it. Domes are fun. They're loud. Yeah, play it in Orlando. They or Miami. ensure that your, your the money doesn't get wet. Doesn't have to deal with weather. They can be inside. Weather is supposed to be football. I mean, come on. Yeah, but it's because <laughs> I'm explaining life to you. But <laughs> here's the problem: yeah. the people that go to football games and the people that support this kind of shit, they don't want to deal with the weather. We we just saw this. We were in Pullman. We saw the rich folk walking in. Going up to their suites. Like, that that's the way it goes. Are you talking about Colby? <laughs> yeah. I, I went up to that suite. It was pretty delicious. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, yeah, we're laying the points, right? We're all laying the points? Yep. <laughs> Happy birthday. Ohio State is just a machine that cannot be stopped. All right. Time for the Lock Dog Tease presented by MyBookie.ag, where you can play, win, and get paid, especially when you use the promo code SGP. Colby. 
Mm. Kick things off. What are you doing for your lock? I am locking up the LSU Tigers minus eight. Oh, come on. <laughs> Speaking of uh, fairy dust being sprinkled on something. <laughs> oh, I, I haven't I already had. Right. Okay. Okay. Then no, no, me, no, uh, no. That's that's fine. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to hear dip. any. I don't want to hear any whining after the fact. This is All what right. Cole. This is what Sean does. He tries to make it your. Uh, yeah. you, it's a very millennial tactic. Like it's yeah, your yeah. fault. He's, something went I'm wrong. Surprised. It's it's I'm called, surprised he's not lobbying for the Eagles creating, to play in a dome. It's hey. called creating good content. If we all lock up the same thing, it's not uh, as interesting. Speaking, to listeners. Do you want the Eagles to play in a dome? I feel like no. you're probably starting. To Why petition. would I want that? Speaking of uh, good content, I'm this, not a millennial. Uh, what the fuck are you new talking about? Simple truth. I'm drinking a beer. You guys are drinking <laughs> fucking <laughs> cucumber melon seltzer water. You're calling me a pussy. It's very, this guy hasn't. Oh, hold on. No one offered me a beer. I mean, how this rude. This guy hasn't eaten a pulled pork sandwich in a month. Sean, stand down because this uh, cucumber melon seltzer. <laughs> Water, uh, sim- simple truth, delicious. organic. I don't know if they do sponsorships. Yeah. Very delicious. Get the fuck. I'm sure it goes great with some James. We're never right? no. You, no. We're no, not no. ever. Seltzer water is never going to be on this fucking <laughs> show. Whiskey. With, <laughs> I don't know if they pass. Sure. <laughs> uh, my lock is LSU minus eight. Um, my dog. Um, I told you Cincinnati plus two seventy. Mm. Give me that yeah. all day. And that's uh, a fun one. And and tease wise, we're gonna go. Uh, well, what do we do here? Let's just say, uh, let's bring. Let's this bring, is my favorite part of every show. Bring, bring Ohio State down to ten and a half. Let's bring LSU down to what two? And uh, what are we doing here? Give me uh, App State minus a half a point. I thought you were gonna do UVA up to thirty-four. Like, <laughs> hey, when they win outright. And a bonus lock. I guess you can't do one yeah. off the sh- uh, that's off the board, but uh, NFL. another another <laughs> FCS. Uh, I don't huh, know. What's pick your, what's another your lock, second bro. lock, bro? Pick oh, another okay. lock. My second Man lock will up. be App State minus six and a half. Okay. I don't know how he teased Appalachian State to thirty four. I'll fix that. Thirty four. What? No, t- t- minus a half. All right, Sean. Is it my turn or your yep. turn? You go, Ryan. Lock Utah. You yeah. guys are you guys are missing the boat on this one. I strategically took one dog so I could take a dog, and that is the Dragons <laughs> of UAB plus two thirty five. The Komodo Dragons, the Komodo Dragons. But no, it's not a Komodo. They're the Blazers right now, but they're trying to get a Komodo Dragon there. So I say we all start calling them the Komodo the Dragons. Until Isn't the Komodo yeah. also the thing you wear naked when you're an old <laughs> old man? You just let your balls hang out. A Komodo. I think that's a kimono. <laughs> Their, their mascot is just an old man with his balls hanging out the ball, man. All right. Oklahoma minus two and a half. Are you doing your teaser? I'm giving you my fucking... T- this is called seamless transition. <laughs> LSU minus two. I'm giving Sean time to, to type all this. And uh, yeah, let's go App, App, App State as well, minus the half. Uh, for my bonus lock, let's uh, let's double dip. App State, uh, they're just they're not they're not losing. I I don't think they're not going to cover here. It just, yeah. I I would say of of all the conference championships, outside of Clemson <laughs> and Ohio, after outside yeah. outside of probably Clemson and Ohio State, I think App State is where I would put the next. I agree. Confidence wise, like I agree with that. They're yeah. winning that game. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> all right, I'm going chalky. Give me OSU, Ohio State. Minus 16 and a half for my lock for my dog. Come on, Baylor plus two fifty. Give me the bears for my T's LSU down to two Utah down to a half and Boise state down to seven and a half. And for my bonus lock LSU hashtag we tigers chicken on a stick for everybody. Chicken and sticks for everyone. Um, where that, that was that was Mississippi, right? There, yeah, but know. check us out. They're playing this at uh, the Falcon Stadium, Chick Fil A, big time uh, sponsor. Mm-hmm. It's Saturday, some. Some. they're open, so I, I think they should do a chicken on the stick special. If I were if I were them, if I was trying to make some money, you know. No, how do you feel about that, Kramer? Uh, you know, I don't necessarily feel I'm very aligned with Chick Fil A's uh, moral or ethical decisions, <laughs> so I can't comment on this matter. Is that oh, the, because wow. because because they're killing animals? Well, a they serve <laughs> meat, and b <laughs> they seem to not be the most humanitarian company out there. So, we'll leave it at that. I don't want to get political. But. I've never seen you at Chick Fil A, huh? Oh, uh, 
I'm Listen, going all in there's on a Trump. Ch- I love Chick Fil A. <laughs> I love chicken. Strategically, I love placed lemonade, on waffle the, fries. On the way to Vegas, that I have never yeah. not stopped at. Ryan, yeah, what are we going to do with March you. Madness? Yeah. We're probably going to fly out, but yeah, March we're Madness. We're getting a private jet. That's what. <laughs> really? And you know what I'm going to get on like a private huh? jet? I'm going to get some fried to- tofu over some nice <laughs> eggplant. That's what. <laughs> Hashtag soy boy lifestyle. I, I feel like our, our plane might go down if the pilot hears uh, he's having a coleslaw sandwich. No. <laughs> I got to make an emergency <laughs> landing. Okay. As always, guys, appreciate you tuning into the podcast. Rate, review, and share. Get those good iTunes reviews. We'll be giving out some merch on the NFL podcast for the best five-star reviews. So get those in. Make sure to check out the college experience with Colby Dant, Patty C. And uh, check out the college picks podcast or college picks sheets for college basketball college football 12 and 3 ats in college basketball yesterday nice work Colby. three and oh on my locks i guess that explains why the football is slipping <laughs> <laughs> he's only got so many locks to give out for the sports gambling podcast i'm sean stacking the money green and he is ryan well good luck good luck this weekend uva psych <laughs> kramer let it right.